Hello and welcome to Book Club on the Go, the podcast where we explore one book at a time. Today, I would like to talk to you about one of my favorite books, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. The story of 100 Years of Solitude takes place in the fictional town of Macondo, which is based on the author's hometown of Aracataca in Colombia. The novel tells the story of the Buendia family, who are the founders of Macondo and whose fortunes rise and fall over the course of the town's history. The book is structured as a series of interlocking stories, each focusing on a different member of the Buendia family and their experiences. One of the key themes of the book is the idea of cyclical time, which is reflected in the repeated patterns of events that occur in Macondo over the course of the novel. The characters in the book are often caught in a cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, and the novel suggests that history is doomed to repeat itself. This theme is reinforced by the novel's use of magical realism, which blurs the line between the real and the fantastical, and suggests that there are deeper, mystical forces at work in the world. Another important theme in the book is the impact of colonialism on Latin America. The Buendia family is descended from Spanish colonizers, and the novel explores the tension between the indigenous culture of Macondo and the European influence that has shaped its history. This tension is reflected in the conflict between traditional ways of life and the modernization that accompanies the arrival of technology and industry in the town. The book is also notable for its exploration of the human condition, with the Buendia family serving as a microcosm of the broader human experience. The characters in the book are flawed and often struggle with their own desires and emotions, leading to tragedy and heartbreak. However, the novel also suggests that there is a sense of hope and resilience in the face of these challenges, and that life is ultimately a journey of discovery and self-discovery. The novel was originally published in Spanish under the title Cien Anos de Soledad in 1967. It was later translated into English by Gregory Rabassa and published in 1970. The book was inspired by the author's own experiences growing up in the town of Aracataca, Colombia, and many of the characters and events in the novel are based on real people and places from his childhood. The novel was an instant success and helped to bring international attention to Latin American literature. It has since been translated into dozens of languages and has sold millions of copies worldwide. 100 Years of Solitude won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1982, making Gabriel Garcia Marquez the first Colombian and only the fourth Latin American writer to receive the prestigious award. The novel has been adapted for the screen several times, including a 1987 television miniseries and a 2014 film adaptation directed by Christopher Columbus. However, the film rights to the book were notoriously difficult to obtain, and it took over 40 years for a film version to be produced. The novel has been the subject of much critical analysis and interpretation, with scholars and critics offering a wide range of readings of the book's themes and symbolism. It, it has been compared to works by authors such as William Faulkner, Franz Kafka, and Jorge Luis Borges. In addition to 100 Years of Solitude, Gabriel Garcia Marquez is also known for his other works of fiction, including Love in the Time of Cholera, Chronicle of a Death Foretold, and The General in His Labyrinth. He is widely regarded as one of the most important Latin American authors of the 20th century. The novel's complex narrative structure features multiple generations of the Buendia family, with several characters sharing the same name. This creates a sense of cyclical time and reinforces the novel's themes of fate and repetition. The novel's title has been interpreted in various ways, with some critics suggesting that it refers to the solitude and isolation experienced by the characters in the book, while others argue that it is a reference to the cyclical nature of time and the endless repetition of history. In addition to its literary significance, 100 Years of Solitude is also notable for its role in popularizing the cumbia, a style of music that originated in Colombia. The book's descriptions of the town of Macondo and its inhabitants helped to popularize cumbia. Music and Dance in Colombia and Beyond The novel has been referenced and alluded to in numerous works of popular culture, including songs by Bob Dylan, The Beatles, and The Smiths, as well as in films, television shows, and other books. 
Gabriel Garcia Marquez worked on the book for over a decade, and the final manuscript reportedly weighed in at over 800 pages. However, he was initially unsure whether the book would be successful, and even considered burning the manuscript before it was published. Despite the book's fame and critical acclaim, Garcia Marquez himself was known for his humility and was often surprised by the attention and adulation he received. He once described himself as a very lucky man who has nothing to do with literature. That all for today's show. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Remember, this podcast is all about exploring one book at a time. If you want to dive deeper and better understand the book, we recommend picking up a copy and reading it yourself. Make sure to tune in next week when we discuss another book. Remember to subscribe and review our podcast to help us reach more book lovers like you. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, stay curious.